Hi, my name is Ronit Mukherjee and I'm an Applications Engineer with Go Engineer. In today's quick tip video, I'm going to show you a method to repair hole problems uh, on non-planar faces. If you ever had a handlebar uh, with two countersunk holes, uh, these holes have been created using the hole visit. The issue is that, uh, that these holes are placed on the top face, which when we create the hole visit does not necessarily create uh, straight cuts um, and basically our holes are in the wrong orientation. And another method uh, to fix this would be to, to create a plane um, that's uh, basically flat here and to place the uh, to place the holes on that to, on that plane. So I've created something over here. Let me just suppress these holes so there's no holes created. And I'm just gonna fill my tree in uh, where I've created a 3D sketch point right at that point, and I've created a plane. Uh, I've created a plane that's basically parallel to the top plane, and uh, ba and going through that point. And now I can create my hole visit, and uh, what it does is it creates that hole visit on that plane instead of uh, the top to the top non-planar surface. Now, when we do this, like, as I, as you can see in this both these holes, there's uh, some geometry that's left uh, uh, to cut. And uh, I want to show you a neat little technique that we use uh, uh, to remove these areas. And uh, we're going to use our surfacing tools uh, to to fix this model here. So the first step that I want to do is I want to select my um, surfacing tool, uh, surfacing tab, so I can see all my surfacing tools up here. And then I can click on the option for offset surface. So the first step would be for me to make an offset surface on that countersunk face. And I can give it an offset uh, parameters uh, of value of 0 millimeters. So what this does is this creates an offset surface exactly on that face and then uh, we can create one on that, this face as well. So this will create two offset surfaces, one on this countersunk face and the other one on this countersunk face. So let's hit the green check and you notice I've got the offsets uh, here. Now what, what I want to do with this uh, the surface that I've created is I want to extend the surface so it encapsulates the entire geometry, everything that's uh, going to be a part of that, uh, uh, that, that surface. So I'm just going to select my extend surface tool and I'm going to ask SOLIDWORKS to extend this surface that we just created and I, either I can go uh, give it a fine distance or uh, you know I can go up to a point or up to a surface in this case the distance doesn't matter as long as we uh, are past this uh, um, you know as long as we are past this edge so I mean 6 millimeter gives me you know quite it gives me a good clearance and so what I want to do is I want to hit the green check on this one and again sorry for the last thing the extension type will want to keep it at same surface I want to use that same exact surface to extend. So green check, and you notice one of our surfaces is active, or is being created right here. Now let's do the exact same steps uh, for the countersunk uh, hole on the other side. So I want to select extend surface, and I want to select that face, and I want to select it and condition uh, as a distance, and I want to give it a distance of six millimeters. Now once you do that, you hit the green check, and like the other hole, now we've got two um, surfaces that we have created uh, on those countersunk holes. Now, using my intersect tool, uh, what I can do is I can find all the different uh, intersection areas of this uh, of this geometry right here. So, if you can't find the intersect tool, just go ahead and just go ahead and search it under your commands. And either you can select it from here, or if you click on the eyeglasses, it tells you where exactly the intersect command is. Um, so it changes the tabs for us. You notice it goes into the features tab and there's an intersect command right here. This is where it's uh, kept uh, as a default, but again, any of these tools that you don't know where they're located, you can simply search it under our command search commands and you can just type in the name. Um, so we'll select this intersect tool and I'll tell SOLIDWORKS to s s uh, select these two surfaces as well as the body and then intersect. Once you do that, it creates all these different regions and it's up to us as users what regions we want uh, to be a part of this uh, uh, model and what regions we want removed. So if I select uh, the body right here, it selects that region right in this uh, <clears throat> on our left and under regions to exclude, but I don't want to exclude that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click invert selections. So what that does is it excludes everything else except for the body. And over here, I can uh, check the box for consumed surfaces. If there's any extra surfaces, SOLIDWORKS will go ahead and consume that as well. So once you hit the green check to this thing, you'll notice our uh, 
the, the new host doesn't have any um, uh, crazy geometry and it's uh, pretty smooth again um, much better than what we had uh, uh, when we had the whole wizard done to the normal to the face on the top face over here okay I hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you for watching